guys, that fucking semi truck just sideswiped me. Seriously. You gotta be fucking kidding me right now, dude. You gotta be fucking kidding me right now, man. <sighs> well, this is what we're looking at. Door is completely smashed. So that is awesome, right guys? We're in uh, downtown Tampa. That's South Florida, so what is this? This is, that's Franklin Street. Oh, we're on Channelside Drive. And that's where this happened. Yeah, I mean, I was in my lane, 100%. Did not swerve at all into the other lane. I know that for a fact because um, I always get super nervous when semis are near me and I will make an effort to consciously like get the hell away from them. Both hands on the steering wheel, wasn't doing a darn thing, wasn't hitting my vape, wasn't like changing the song on the head unit, wasn't doing a darn thing. Next thing I know, it's just like the left side of the car is getting thrown around, so. And the door handle's right here. I went and walked like maybe five, six, seven yards back, picked it up. So that's fucked. Because of that, this definitely is not gonna be able to close. So I'm gonna try to make sure that doesn't latch. Cool stuff. Oh, crap, the wheel too, I just noticed that. Right here, this is uh, popped out a little bit. And that whole entire wheel, see that? Damn, dude. Now I'm not gonna be able to sell these freaking wheels, man. This is the semi. Just gotta make sure I get that on video, because why not? I don't really see where, oh, it was probably their front wheel. Yeah, shit happens, guys. And I'm just like holding my phone here in the middle of traffic. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. I gotta vlog this. So a little update here. It's been already about 20 minutes, a little more than 20 minutes. Still no officer, which is weird because normally downtown Tampa is like crawling with police officers. I called 911, I told her what happened. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what hit me was their front wheel spokes. How they have those stupid obnoxious fucking lug nuts or whatever the hell they are that poke out from the tire. Um, that just like completely destroyed the side of my car. So Marco, you guys have seen Marco in the past couple of videos. He uh, is like one of the top painters in the country for Caliber Collision. He sent me a couple pictures of a 2022 B or Z that one of his friends has that just got hit with kind of similar damage and I guess the insurance company is fixing it. So I don't, I don't know if it'll be totaled, but we'll see. Got the cops finally pulling up. It's been about 25 minutes, but that's okay. Those guys are coming too. There's Vivian, all the way over there. I guess here. <laughs> what a goober. She thought she was gonna have to save the day. Joke's on her. I am... Oh, Vivian's mad that I'm filming right now. Yeah, I am really thirsty, actually. Okay. Thank you for coming. Well, yeah. Had you just gotten home? I was home for a little bit. I was working on uh, some art for the store. Oh my God, the ice cold water is so good. One cop talked to me, the other cop talked to the two guys in the semi. That's the semi that? Yep, yep. It was his front wheel. He went to go turn into my lane. And you know how the semi trucks have those huge obnoxious like spokes coming out of their front wheels? That's what got you? Yep. I am not at fault because they were turning into my lane. So the officer is going to write up his report. He's going to email it to me. In the meantime, when I get home, I'll call USA and see what they say. But they're probably going to want to wait until they get that report. Why did you just stop recording? Yeah, Vivian was just saying that even if I do end up getting it fixed, it's not gonna be the same. And which she is totally correct because uh, the value is gonna drop a lot. So I would rather them total it. If not, then that's a bad fucking deal for us. We'll see what happens. I don't know if it's enough to total it. 
it to... It didn't get the frame at all. I don't know. They're gonna replace the car. Mm, we'll see. Well, they're no. not gonna replace the car. They will give us a check. Are you... What? They're gonna just give you a check. That's how that works. They don't give you a new car. They give you a check. Vivian just asked me, she's like, okay, well, when's a tow truck going to come? And I'm like, I'm driving it home. I can get in through the passenger door. Is it going to stay closed? Uh, I don't know if it'll stay closed. I mean, it latched right now. I accidentally shut it and it latched. So it's just going to be really loud, which means that we definitely cannot go on any highways. But do you want to follow me then? In case the car blows up and I die, yeah, you see it? All right. So if you guys have seen my last video, which I'm sure you did, where I talked about my thoughts on the FL5, you see Vivian behind me. <laughs> I'm sure this seems very, very ironic that I just said I don't ever see myself getting an 11th gen Type R. And then literally the next day, almost like a punishment from the car gods for my awful opinion, apparently, my B or Z gets wrecked. Now, I don't know if it's wrecked, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, baby. This thing's quiet. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go buy a lottery ticket. I'm clearly on a lucky strike right now. I don't even know if that's a figure of speech, but it just came to mind. I'm on a lucky streak, a lucky strike. I'm having a lucky day. Yeah, buddy. Hey, dude, I am so... I am so happy that I did not take the Type R today. That I would be, I would cry. I would cry, I would shed tears if it was the Type R. Ah, oh, dude, I'm so happy I didn't take the Type R. Right when I get home, you guys will see when I get home, I'm gonna install a dash cam. Just got home. Vivian came out to assess the damage. Yeah, this is the first time you're seeing it up close because Vivian just like pulled up. We're in downtown Tampa and she had to like, you know, get over quickly. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I don't think it hit the frame anywhere. No, but he got you back here. He nicked the wheels. Yeah. Something's rushed. That really pisses yep. me off. Yep. You know what the good thing about this is? It wasn't the Type R. Yeah, but is this gonna like mess up my credit in any way, shape, or form? No. Or is this gonna make my insurance go up at all? No, you're not at fault. Well, I don't know. It's Florida. The I at fault. The at fault people are the ones who take the insurance hit. So they're gonna send us a check. Or whatever they think the car is No, worth. it depends. If the car is deemed totaled, they will cut us a check and it'll, they'll be very gracious with it. We'll probably get like upper 30s or 40 grand. If not, then the insurance company will pay their insurance company, not ours. We're not going through ours because we're not at fault. It's going to be the semi truck's insurance company. They will pay for the car to be repaired, which is what I do not want because that'll diminish the value by quite a bit. So, he nicked you. You were still obviously driving. And he got, he scraped the entire... No, he started right there at the door. And it went back? I'm pretty sure. I don't know what happened really fast. But uh, the door works out. The door kind of works, yep. So a storm's coming in now, and I really need to go mow the front lawn because, uh, you guys really gave me some shit about that in my Instagram post a couple days ago, but... Them too? Yes, 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 I know, I'm going right now. My god. Dude, oh my god, I can't believe... I was that lucky that I didn't take the Type R today, because I wanted to take the Type R today. Oh, I'm so sorry this happened to you, buddy. I'm so sorry. You can see all up in there. Look at that. Oh my god. 
right in there. I mean, I can't leave this outside because I can't let like rainwater get in here. Look at this, it's all open. Holy crap. Rip the door handle clean off. And it's not sitting properly. You see that right there? I don't even know if the window like seals. This did get hit as well. <sighs> Alright, let's get this freaking lawn mode. You know what? I think I'm gonna rip this shit out too. Right here. I gotta open this door. Climb over the seat. So I can. There we go. Don't latch, please. chance to wax this too because I washed it the other night I was gonna wax it tonight the BRZ has to be inside because I can't let like rainwater get in there it's already starting to rain god damn it dude there you have it boys lawn's all mowed and uh good luck but you know what I don't even block I don't even bother blowing all this crap away uh, well number one because my extension cord is just not long enough and number two, because it rains like every single day and the wind from the storm just blows it away anyway. You guys think I was gonna let a little bit of rain stop me? Nah, bro. Have you done? I didn't do anything, man. What's up? I got sideswiped. Semi truck. We had just taken off from a from a light. I had just gotten into second gear. We were going 14, 50 miles an hour. Next thing I know, I'm just getting. I guess he didn't see you. Thrown around. No, I guess he he, he said he didn't see me. So. Never seen this car so clean. Oh yeah. Well, I'm actually. I just came back out to blow dry after it rained a little bit. And now I'm putting on, here I'll show you. Right here. Marco will tell us if it's any good or not. <laughs> I've never seen this before though. It's rated very well, so I, uh, I picked it up. Let me see that. Do you think this is gonna total? I, have, I don't think so. You don't think it's gonna total? It's just a door and a quarter. Yeah, but they're gonna have to replace the this whole panel. entire piece from the tail light all the way to the... No, they actually cut it right here. They're gonna cut it? Yeah, it goes like sometime even here, so they don't get into the roof. Oh, I don't like that. That's the only way to replace it. Well, I'd rather totally. Because if they do it here, then the roof needs to, you know, get oh, a hole. That's why they cut it before here. You'll never see it though. It goes from here and then probably all the way here. How much is that going to ruin the value of the car? <sighs> it will have a claim in there, you know, every time they pull the car back. See, that's, that's what I'm afraid of. But it's only like two panels, so I, I doubt no. it's all that. Uh, two panels, mirror. Yeah. Um, what year is this? 2022. How many miles do you have? 10,000 miles. The only way it's gonna, they're going to total it, it has to go over like 45% of the value, which is not gonna. Well, that makes me kind of sad because I don't think now I'm going to be stuck with a car that's worth like, what, five, six thousand $6,000 less? I mean, if you fix it in a you know reliable shop, you're gonna have like you know 
like the warranty on the repair and everything. Yeah, I get that, but yeah, I know what you mean. Most people usually when that happens, they'll fix it and then they get rid of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's probably the best option. The tires are real good. So this yeah. door, have you opened it? Yeah, it opens. You have to open from it the from the inside. But I see the handle. Yeah, the handle's in the trunk. Wow. It's beer. It's weak. You saw the one I sent you from my front? I did, yeah. yeah. He's, got, he's got hit like on the parking lot, like right there outside. There is some sort of BRZ GR86 curse, which I learned shortly after I uh, got into the community. It's not as bad. I mean, of course, you gotta replace the quarter, but I don't see, it's not gonna have any frying issues. Even the door closes, you know? Right. Yeah, so they'll cut it like right here, probably. Like right here, the section well, here. Well, there's that, too. Yeah, they'll section it here. Okay. And then here. And then, of course, like inside the, the trunk lid and, and the bottom, the, like all the way down there. Wow. Uh, and then brand new door. Marco just came and hung out for a bit and talked about everything, gave me my options. At least the Type R is looking really, really nice. God damn, I love this car. Marco says he really doesn't think that they're gonna total it. Um, I'll have to cross that bridge when I get there, but anyway, this is a super long video, so thank you guys very much for watching, and thank you very much for all the nice messages and comments via Instagram. That means a lot, so thank you for that. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching.